Most of the people who attend Lancashire User Forum are in recovery or they want to get clean. That's the driving force behind it. But also, we're working together with professionals. Professionals attend the forum and they're, and they're giving us their support. We're working with Lancashire Drug and Alcohol team. Empowerment. The LUS has been really helpful doing stuff like that. With the Lancashire User Forum, it gives me a broader picture to look at service users in a, di in a different type. You know, when, when one person gets into employment, the ramifications of that are massive. You know, the family benefits from it first. You know, so we're looking at not just improving individuals, but families. And when families are getting better, you're looking at improving communities. And when you start improving communities, ultimately, we want to affect our society. We want to make our society a better place. People in Lancashire use a forum and sick and tired of hurting people and hurting themselves and having a destructive impact. Now they just want the chance to make things better. In order to do that, we need some kind of financial support. That's what we're asking for some corporate sponsorship. We want to put your logo alongside our logo so when we're attending big events in London Birmingham and Cardiff we're a visible impact it's there on our t-shirts we're putting the message out there that we're making a change together you know that's why really we want your support we want your financial help we want your time in addition to your financial help give us your support in time give us some you know, give us some of your time in terms of mentoring. My name's Claire, I'm a member of the LUF. I've been in recovery three years and I had my last drink 18 months ago. I'm a great believer in what LUF does, not just for communities, but for people in recovery and getting everyone connected. Before I came into recovery, my life was dictated to by alcohol. It told me, it ran my life, it told me where to go, what to do, consume my mind. I read something that said um, an active alcoholic spent 95% of their time thinking about drink. I remember thinking at the time that's rubbish. Looking back it was completely the truth. I would say 95% was quite generous, it was probably more than that. Where to buy it, where to get rid of the bottles, planning the next drink, planning the next lie to get out of it. Um, I've been in recovery three years now. I had my last drink 18 months ago. What Luff, being a member of Luff, has done for me is it's given me contacts with people, um, connections to people, other people in recovery, which is vital for us lot. Um, that's something that before, um, when I was relapsing all the time, the main reason for that, I think primarily, was because I didn't have contact with like-minded people. It's, it, gives you, um, it gives you a vision, it gives you a focus in terms of what you can do for the communities, and we've got a lot to give back. Um, and it's time that we had a voice as well. We'd like to give a voice um, through LUF, because people in recovery have got a lot to offer and a lot to say. My name's Mark, I'm from Lancaster, Lancashire. I was a self-destructive drug addict for 25 years and through my involvement with love, I'm gaining confidence and becoming a member of society. I, was, I started off smoking pot and then uh, got into heroin. Um, I was an intravenous heroin user. Uh, I, my life was just a decreasing spiral of despair, really. I was um, committing crime. I was affecting my community in all sorts of ways. I was taking up massive resources from the hospital with suicide attempts. Um, I spent half my life in police stations. And I was just constantly disruptive, disruptive to my family, disruptive to my environment and I didn't see that anyone wanted to help me. Now that I've seen people out there putting time into me, um, it inspires me to put time into other people. I, I saw a friend
go into a treatment programme and that inspired me to give it a try. I spent 12 months in the residential rehab in the Lancaster area. I learned how to be drug free, um, learned how to stay away from the drugs. I just didn't have a clue how to be a human being, how to function in society. Through getting involved with love, I've, I've, um, I've developed confidence in myself and I've seen the opportunity, opportunities it can provide for people who've come from my kind of background, uh, people getting into work, paid work, uh, my, my dream, and I always thought it was just a, a pipeline dream, was to work in a treatment centre, um, but I thought that was just some sort of crazy notion until I got involved with Luff and saw it happening, happening to people I know, happening to people whose backgrounds I know. Um, and it just inspires a passion in me. But we're taking it from a county-wide meeting because there's that many people who are attending it, we can't fit any more in. And, and we're going to make that a conference. So where we meet every six weeks, we're now going to meet every three or four months. But in between them meetings, we're going to hold Lancashire user forums in each locality. So we're going to be holding three Lancashire user forums, one in the north, one in the east and one in central and then every three months then meetings will come together to have a conference a Lancashire user forum conference of, of all three of them meetings nothing about us without us the service providers attend the meeting regular and, and, and they want they want to hear from the people who are accessing them services how they think they can best improve them but they're taking that information away and then implementing it into the services. So just within the last 12 months, the service provision in, in Lancashire, in my opinion, has got a whole lot better. And because of that, the recovery community is growing to the point where it's bursting. We're at that stage now where we just need to invest that little bit more of training and then we can, we can we can have a, an almost recovery revolution. Um, this is a picture of me after down south. I've just gone to visit my friend um, at the cemetery. And I've just finished um, a Lefexidin detox. At that moment in time, I was clean again. And what's the one where you're lying down? Um, this one, I'd, I'd, I'd been in recovery two years there and I'd just um, relapsed on crack cocaine there. Um, as you can see, I look wired to death. Red face. <laughs> um, yeah, not, not wanting to be there at that moment in time. Talk me through some of the most recent feelings you've had when you you decided to pick up illicit drugs again. When you did that, what was what was the feelings you went through? You experienced again very very dark feelings, like anyone, and especially my, my own drug of choice, which is heroin. Um, again, like I said, very dark. I don't, I don't, I don't want to do it, but it, it's like once you start again, it's like a, a, a snowball effect. The guilt and shame of picking up again, and oh, and then not wanting to stop again, but wanting to see. It's like a an oxy. That sounds an oxy, oxymoron, but again, there's part of me that wants to stop, and part of me that thinks this is all you ever gonna do, Glyn. That's all you deserve for yourself. Which again, for me, that's to do with my own self worth and opinion of myself. Um. 
when I picked up again, I, I've, I've picked up needle switch again. Is is not like me, but it, again, I, I. How can I put this? Um, Stop, stop it a minute. And anyone who's out there using opiate or crack, I would, I would urge them to, to try and seek help. To, even if they don't want to give up, maybe if they go and see people like the local community drug team or, or come to the Luff, um, they will find, find warm loving welcoming people who will if they want to enter recovery will will find people who will help them achieve that end. Can you talk me through some of the reasons why you attend Lancashire User Forum? Again because like I say um, it engages me with people who do want the same thing as me um, like I've spoke to you before Peter most of my damage that I've done through my years of addiction has been done in Lancashire. So again, to try and balance the scales for myself, to try and to try and put some things right for the the bad I've done, is to is to go to Lancashire user forum. Even if I'm not clean, I'll I'll still want to try and help myself as well as other people. My name's Stuart, I did an opiate detox about 18 months ago. Uh, I've been in recovery now, active for about six months and I'm a member of the LUF. Before I got into recovery, my life was uh, pretty dark, you know, uh, chaotic. I never really had any dreams or anything, or what dreams I had as a, as a, as a young kid, because you know, I was quite uh, an active young kid actually, and done well at school. and. Then kind of got involved in drugs when I was about 11, 12, you know, recreationally at first, you know, solvents and stuff like that. And then I don't know what the progression was. I just kind of started using drugs. And by the time I was 15, I was in and out of police stations, crime, and that sort of spiraled and spent a lot of time in police stations and prisons. And that happened until I was about 24. Them last few years before going in there was quite, you know, a bad time for me. I was, you know, psychosis, you know, uh, um, violent. I was a dangerous, I was a dangerous person, quite, you know, messed up inside, um, erratic behaviour and fighting with the police. And my neighbours thought I was nuts. I was nuts. I was crazy, you know. And didn't know. Quite a messed up person, I say, you know. And that's that's putting it nice, nice and tidy. I got clean about 18 months ago, and. Uh, from doing that, I was introduced to the Luff and met Peter and met a few other people, you know, in, in and around recovery and started seeing there was quite a bit of a, a vibe going on for recovery. People were getting better. Through that, it inspired me then to start getting active in recovery. I started going out, you know, starting to do things for people in recovery, you know, setting up football groups, you know, fitness classes. Uh, went back to college. I've just qualified as a fitness coach. I'm now training to be a personal trainer. I'm about you know, two months into that. I've now got a job at J2R in Markham. I've been there for about a month now. I've volunteered for about six months. From being this messed up drain on society that was just better off in the cell, I'm now actually able to use all that strength that I've the knowledge that I've got from being in them places and help people get better. I'm not a soldier, I got sober, 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 I'